Welcome back, everybody. I'm Todd. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Street Revelers. How do we miss you feeling the word? Motorcycles. How do we miss you feeling the word? Motorcycles. So check it out. I'm back in the house today, and I said I need a Wall Twins apron. They had this little kids one available. <laughs> and uh, oh, we had. Yeah. I keep seeing people post on this. Don't you all? Yes. I think it's my time. It's our time. Yeah. To yes, do I it. Hear it. So uh, we're gonna do some kind of a rice. Chicken, cilantro, bowl, motorcycles. Vroom, vroom, let's get Pineapples, it. chicken, and rice on a Blackstone. First up, we have a giant whole pineapple. Now listen, I will tell you folks, I'm not an expert at this, but I will also tell you this. We went into the test kitchen, the Wall Twins and I, and we were testing a few methods, mm -hmm. and we think we have one that we can replicate, that we can tell you about. So we're gonna slice using the chef's knife down through the pineapple, and of course, Going all the way up through. Sorry, like that. Look how easy it is. And, <laughs> and then we're gonna take this little paring knife and we are gonna make a, uh, a swimming pool. Hey, you guys like that? Yep, I love it. We're gonna make a swimming pool of pine. By the way, if they could literally make a swimming pool out of a pineapple, who wouldn't oh, swim in that thing? I will call it the, the Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. I like your style. So folks, um, you know, this might be wrong, this might be right, but we are going to. Well, if it's wrong, Todd, then I, I don't want to be right. That's right, we're gonna gently score it. Gently score it. All right, so we're scoring this thing up. Uh, gonna hopefully make this easy to scoop out. And I'm gonna use this little one tablespoon measurement. I don't ever measure anything. So as you can see, I'm using this as a scoop. So we're gonna reach in there and something like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, the reason why this works is because that spoon is very solid. It has a really nice, sharp, uh, hard edge. So it's easy to get through. The core is actually the hardest part to get through on that. Man, are you a pineapple expert? I am today. But I did stay in a Holiday Inn Express last night. Ah! Ah! Gave Todd the easy job. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're gonna take some of those extra soft inner pieces here and put them down. We're gonna mince this up to be part of our recipe. Can you mince that up for me? You got it, absolutely. Man, look at this, I have a mincer here with me today. Mr. Mincer. Take <laughs> these broken wings and learn to fly again. Learn to love so free. When we hear the voices, the book of love will open up. And let us in. Oh, yeah. Blackstone griddle on high heat. Today we happen to be using the 36 inch air fryer combo. A combination of griddle and air fryer. My brother tells the truth. Olive oil on the griddle top, followed by some delicious chicken. Who diced this up for me? Brett. Brett did that, man. There we go. Pepper. And salt, in this case. It's the Himalayan pink. Does it taste any better? I don't know, but it's got that cool pink tropical color. Motorcycle. We're getting a nice sear already on that chicken. I tell you what, folks, while we're doing that, grab my Uncle Ben's ready rice. In this case, it's the jasmine. This stuff is great. It'll always say 90 seconds in the microwave, but you don't have to use the microwave. Inevitably, every time I do this, I get people that ask me, and they say, Todd, did you microwave it off camera? No, I didn't, because of course the uh, griddle top is gonna override your need to use a microwave. That's so cool. <laughs> and I thought fidget spinners were fun. And we're gonna put that, oh, look at that, that juicy oh, minced okay. pineapple straight in there with the rice, followed by some green bell pepper. But wait, there's more orange bell pepper. Ooh. And we're gonna get all this cooking right there. But wait a minute, if you act now, you're gonna get red onion. I think it's time for some jalapeno. Time to get jalapeno business. Since we're just doing one jalapeno in this, I'm gonna leave the seeds in there, okay? We just wanna use this to disperse a little heat into the recipe. 
The dispersion of the heat is what we're talking about, Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jalapenos straight down there. May I hand this off to you? Yes, you can. And now let's go straight back here. Oh, folks, I hope those colors are looking as good at home as they are here in a bumpka, bumpka, bumpka. Okay, the chicken's looking good. I almost forgot, folks. We're gonna come in here. A little bit of oil around the uh, the rim of the pineapple, as it were. We're gonna put that straight down on the griddle top. Oh. Get some caramelization. I shall avenge the dead. Uh, uh. What are you doing to our pineapple? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Sacrificing it. Slide the pineapple over there. Bring the rice over here in the middle with the chicken. Now, folks, we've never made this before, so first time. Immediately as we're doing this, I'm thinking this would be great with shrimp. Here in Florida, we are talking about doing it with gator. Mm. Yeah. So let's check out that pineapple while we're here. Oh, look at that. Oh. And we're gonna put that down on a plate like so. And now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab some of this, oh folks. Oh my goodness, straight down inside there. What else can we do this with? I don't know, would you do scallops or not? Is that too much? You could, about uh, Shrimp, chicken, pork, pork, pork you for sure. You could do fish, like a mahi mahi. Oh, pork would be good. Oh, yeah. A steak, you could do a steak bowl, like some cut up steak. A bunch of different toppings here, friends. Mr. Yoshida's, I think, that's my all time favorite teriyaki sauce. That would certainly work. We've got a mango salsa that might work perfect at the end. I don't know, I'm thinking for this first go round, I'm gonna go with my favorite, the sweet chili sauce. And of course, you could use Blackstone's Korean Sweet Fire for this, but a little bit of the uh, sweet chili. This is basically garlic and sugar and chili pepper. So perfect. Hopefully, it looks good as well. Chop up some cilantro. Cilantro. And uh, let's see, mince that up a little bit. And we'll sprinkle this on top, like so. Something like that and if i want to get like all blackstone betty where everything looks so amazing maybe i'll just put even a little bit of the uh, sweet chili sauce on the side of the bowl let's see oh yeah how does that look guys that looks amazing oh who lives in a pineapple under the sea spongebob square pen let's give, give it, it a try, try. Mm. Oh, it's warm! Mm -hmm. It's hot. It's hot. That pineapple, it's mm -hmm. hot. Oh, good. Don yeah. just said that cooked quick. Yeah, it cooked quick and it's still hot. Super hot. There must be like a, a super insulating factor of pineapple. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Like maybe the natives used to use it to keep things warm. <laughs> what are we calling these? Pineapple bowl? Sweet chili. Sweet heat. Sweet heat. Pineapple, pineapple treat. Bowl. The sweet, bowl. sweet heat no. pineapple, pineapple treat. treat. So we're calling this the sweet heat pineapple treat. 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 So good, so easy. I don't know why I waited like an extra year to make these. So right. the sweet heat pineapple treat. treat. So sweet thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sweet here in Apopka, Florida. Mm, I'm just. Heat, oh. treat, sweet, heat, <laughs> you gotta check out the treat, Wall Twins, sweet, maybe on YouTube. Heat, They're huge, treat, man. Sweet, like 90, almost 90,000 subscribers sweet, right now. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. Treat, Make sure you're watching my other videos. Let's give it a try. Blackstone social media. I can't think while I'm hearing that. Todd and the Wall Twins were saying, "Praise the Lord and pass the sweet heat pineapple treat." 